the crowd tonight? Yeah, one word, unbelievable. <laughs> Is there anything special about the Romanian crowd? Yeah, I think, I, I can't imagine that you guys think I'm lying or whatever, or I say that everywhere. I, I, I really, I, I believe that. But I've seen almost every single country in the world. I've never seen something like that. You just say it one time, hands up in the air, and ev oh, sorry. everybody, you see the whole stadium. That doesn't happen nowhere in the world, really. I think everywhere that never happens. You have to say that a few times, and then you see like 50%. Here, sometimes you don't even have to say it. They're like, boom. <laughs> and it's so much love. And that's, I don't care about money or whatever. But if you get this bag, this is the best inspiration what you can get. It's crazy. This is my seventh time I see you live, and I'm not bored about your work. What's the secret? Uh, I do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spend a lot of time, and it's not prepared, but I every single song I play, I put into my program, and I cut off cut out the shit I don't want to hear, I add some stuff, it's still live, but every single song is like a mashup, and I think that keeps people entertained, and I'm the only, I'm, I'm the, not sending the songs to anybody, so I'm the only one who has it, I don't know if it's special, but it seems like people are liking it. Thank you. Thank you. How was the free party? The free party was fun. I was super tired because we came from Greece the day before, or actually on the same day. But it was great. It was a very small club, and it's cool to see that even in small clubs, I've, I think I've played two small clubs in Romania, and yeah, it was, it, it's the same vibe, it's just smaller, and that's great. Sometimes you're in clubs and it's like, yeah, everybody's like a little bit VIP. Here, it's like a mini festival. I'm curious, would you see yourself doing the same thing when you are 60 or 70 years old coming on this stage? <laughs> if I can still move, I'll do it. Right. If I can still raise my hand up, I'll do it. Alright, I'll see you then. My favorite person, name one song. One song. Your favorite one. <laughs> Ever. The song, uh, it's not my favorite song, but the song which gave me most of the goosebumps tonight was I Lose Myself Tonight, the last one. Because it's emotional and you can see all the scene. Like, I've seen all the happy faces. I don't know how many thousand people were here, but only happy faces. And that, it's not my favorite song. But that really gave me a lot of emotions. Yeah. Oh no, actually I did. I remember the song One on One. I think it was not last year, it was the year before. Yeah, it was yeah, so Solana. Solana. Yeah. And she's from Romania. Yeah, but I didn't know it. She lives in London now. And uh, I found out later. I brought her here, I think, two years ago or something. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yeah, she's from Romania. But I'm still down. Like, if everybody wants to send me some cool demos, hit me up. <laughs> Sorry, I did not. It's like a lot of ups and downs. I like that it's like sometimes it's like a little bit more down tempo, a little bit more up tempo, and it's, it feels like it's changing. It has so many different faces, and that's what I like. I'm getting bored. And I think you can hear that in my set. It goes up and down, up and down the whole time. And if the music would be only like this the whole time, like only, I don't know, it's hard to describe it, but I think you know what I mean. Um, I would be very bored. So that's why I like when it sometimes goes a little bit slower, then it goes up again. Yeah, stuff like that. I, I really like when it has different faces. And that's why I, my set is probably like, Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. I hear that a lot. I, I still don't know why, but <laughs> thank you so much. I, I just have to hear the drop and I know it's too dark. Okay. <laughs> That's the secret, probably. Yeah. Yes, 
I participate at your contest, The Sound of Tujamo. I didn't got the luck to win, but I want to ask you, without any contest, will you promote any little artist? So, this contest was pretty special. Uh, it was an idea with me and my team. And because I remember when I was younger and I started producing, uh, it was really hard that people could listen to your songs. It was like, I sent it to so many people. Like one demo sent to a hundred people, nobody was listening to it. And I think the chance that when you are like a little bit bigger, and I'm still not super big, but I tried to give younger people the chance to send me some stuff, and I was overwhelmed by the result because at the end we got 1,337 demos in three weeks, and that's insane. I've never, I expected like maybe 100. That was crazy. And there were a lot of good demos, so sorry that I didn't pick the first. But <laughs> they were like really, really good demos. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just, I just wanted to give back the chance because I remember when I was younger, people also gave me the chance to listen to or that they listen to my music and it helped me a lot and I know how hard it is and it's super frustrating when you make music every day and at the end nobody's listening to it, that's, that's, that sucks and I just want to help younger people and I'm gonna do this one more time because the demos were incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. One more question. I don't know if you guys remember that, but this is safe here, so I'm gonna remember that. And I hope you guys remember that too, because sometimes, very funny actually, because when I started, my tour manager came to me and he said, wait, one question, uh oh, one, one second, don't forget to enjoy it. And that, that helped me to realize like, oh my God, this is, this is the moment I've been waiting for since last year I played here. And sometimes people forget to enjoy it. Sometimes you see people not here or on festivals like with their phones all the time. But come on, we have this one life, so let's enjoy it until, I don't know, maybe, yeah, we have to enjoy every second, every single second. And this is like one of the best times of so many thousands of people's life. So we have to enjoy it. So I think tonight we are around 25 people only working from, for the set. I think most of you guys, they think it's just me, but in the background there are so many people. It starts from my agency. It's an agent who confirms the show here. That takes at least two weeks. They're discussing fees, they're discussing how big is the roof I'm playing on, how does the stage look. How many stuff on the stage can we use? How many effects can we use? You see all the flames and stuff. This is actually part of the contract. It, and it matters at the end how big as an artist you are, the more effects you get. It's, it's, it's so much stuff you can't believe. And then it goes on. I'm always traveling with a tour manager. I'm always traveling with a photographer. And tonight we had four camera guys. We had one, two guys for the visuals, for the videos you saw, because that's always live. And like I said, it's nothing is prepared. So there are people in the background sitting and doing the videos at the same time. So they hear, he's playing this song, I'm gonna have to put this video. And it goes on, I don't even know. There are so many people involved. This is not only me to make this show. I'm playing the music, I'm doing all the music stuff. And at the end, I know that's a, a huge part of it. But in the background, there are a lot of people working for this you don't see, and it's just incredible. When we walked to the stage, we were such a big group, and that felt like, oh my God. And it's also a lot of pressure for me, because everybody's working so hard. And at least I'm the guy who's just standing there. I get all the feedback, but they deserve it as well.
Yeah, tonight. Yeah. Thank you.